Well, cities live and die by sales tax, of course. Before Prop 1, uh, we had less sales tax to live and die off of. So what we had was uh, streets that were really, really bad. And I hear people still, you know, we do have some bad streets, there's no doubt about it. But without Prop 1, uh, we would have barely been able to maintain and try to fill potholes. And now we're, every year we're able to tackle several projects and resurface multiple streets and that would not take place without proposition. No matter how hard we work, by the time we finish it's time to start someplace else. Even if, you know, we've we done that street 10 years ago, it's going to need some attention within 10 years. It's a constant ongoing process and it's a little bit of a battle because streets, uh, they, they fall apart, they have problems no matter how well you construct them. The people who complain about the rough streets and complain about being inconvenienced because of the crews there, in fact, I even understand that myself, it happens to me, I have a route blocked. In the long run, it's a benefit to everybody. Everybody that uses the street, that lives in the area of the street, you know, once it's done, it's, it's in good shape for a pretty good uh, period of time, so everybody usually is happy after the fact. Prop 1 provides us with enough funding to keep our crews active and busy on a daily basis, five days a week, 365 days a year.